Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, I just want to talk a bit about where to hide your medals, how to hide your medals, a few tips, a few tricks that I've picked up after a while of storing precious metals in various locations. And if you like fun videos on gold and silver, please like, share, subscribe. I do upload videos basically every single morning, and they're pretty much all premieres, so come hang out with everyone. It's a great group of people to come hang out with. We're getting some pretty good turnouts lately too, which I always enjoy. I always appreciate hanging out with everyone. And stay tuned for the 500 subscriber giveaway that I'll have going on here. Have a few fun pieces, up to 3.1 ounces ready for that. No comment video, I'll have it coming out after I hit the 500 subscriber point. But as I said, these two, ah, 3.1 ounces in there right now, and I am looking to get more in there by the time we hit the 500 sub point. But, when it comes to storing your metals, now, I know most people that watch my channel, they store them at home. I do keep, I obviously keep quite a few at home. I film right on top of my safe here, so, yeah, it is one way that I store my metals. Uh, just a burglary, theft, fire safe. That's what I'm filming on right now. I just pop the door open, put the metals on top. Quick and easy way to film. Works very good for me. And if someone comes by, it's not going to be out in the open, out in an area that I may have someone seeing through a window, things like this. Somewhere where it's kind of secretive in my house, that's kind of where I keep my safe. I don't like to keep it in an obvious spot. Nobody's going to suspect a safe here or anything unless they come here. It's not wide open in my house. It's in a room. And I like to make sure that there's some kind of steps. Either up or down, it doesn't really matter to me where I keep it in my house. That's a... So location inside the house, not just having a safe. As well as bolting it down. Every safe should come with holes in the bottom to bolt, bolt them down, holes in the back or something. Not every safe will have the holes in the back. Or it might just have knockouts in the back so you can knock it out yourself knock it out from the bottom, little metal plates that just pop off, then you just screw it down through those. That's typically what you might find in a safe. But, yeah, bolting it down, trying to bolt it down to cement. If, you, if possible, if not, don't just bolt it down to your plywood floor. Make sure you're actually hitting studs. Make sure it's in something solid. If you're, if it's not lining up with the studs, make sure there, you put something down there underneath so it's nice and solid. Make sure you put have some kind of backing in behind the wall if it's not lining up with the studs. Little tip, just like making sure it's level. Not as important, but I don't want things rolling around. I like just being in the trades. I level everything I do. That's just that's just me. But so I guess that's the obvious one. So yeah, I kind of brought that up first. But even when it comes to storing it in a safe, you want to make sure it's big enough. You want to be stacking your products accordingly. If you don't get a big safe. Gold obviously takes up way less space than silver. So I'll just give you an example here, just for one ounce to one ounce. It's like a, it's a pretty big difference. So you can see it's clearly quite a bit smaller, the gold. And it's thinner. 
So it's quite a big, big difference, just one ounce to one ounce in comparison. Just for how much size it takes up in your space. I know a lot of people who watch aren't a huge fan of me stacking gold and everything, but I'm plan on stacking a lot of metals long term. If I don't stack gold with my silver, even though I'm more bullish on silver, I'm gonna run out of space. I don't want walls dedicated to safes in my house. The space is a thing. That's why I also like to go with a lot of bars here, as you guys can tell. I'm big on the bars. I do have quite a few of them. And I pretty much I pretty much just uh, go with the bars mainly because of space. When if you compare the bars to coins, I know these are in a capsule, but even just tubes without capsules or anything, it's a big deal, deal of difference in your safe. And there are different types of safety safes. You don't need to have a big one bolted down. That doesn't need to be, even if you have one, it doesn't need to be the only spot. You could diversify where you hold them at home if that's where you are choosing to hold it. There's many couches, many beds, and a lot of stuff like that that do come with built in hidden compartments. But, the thing about that is, what if your couch is stolen when you got broken into? It happens. If you put it in a speaker, any kind of electronics, those are probably going to be stolen as well. I don't recommend it myself. A decent spot to put it in, though, <clears throat> could be your kickboards, your crown moldings, if you do have them. They're not too hard to pop off. You can put them back in, it's not too hard. You don't really have good access to it obviously, but it's an option and nobody is really going to be starting to pull that stuff apart in my opinion. People who break into a house are typically looking to grab and go, get whatever they can then leave. You can tape it up under your shelves, things like that where it won't be seen or won't be felt, or people just wouldn't think of. You get nice and airtight, waterproof, all that, tape it up underneath your sink if you have to. There's many places. You could have it in old, like if you have the pods of laundry detergent, something like that in your laundry, you could put it in there. Nobody's going to start searching your laundry detergent. I just don't see a criminal coming in, some breaking into your house. Oh, I want to go after the laundry detergent. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But, that's just my opinion. I wouldn't have any issues putting my stuff there myself. Not that I necessarily do that. But I have done it before. There's many buck safes. You could lock them. If you have a big buck shelf, I don't think everyone's going to be going through all your bucks. They might take a glance, take some, whatever they like, but I don't think they're going to empty out all the bucks. It's a lot of work for not a whole lot of profits. You got to think like a criminal, right? You got to think what would someone breaking into a house be looking for? What are they trying to get? What's the whole strategy behind breaking into my house or whatever? Something that a whole lot, not a whole lot of people really seem to think about when choosing to hide their medals, but it's something that you must think about in my personal opinion. You gotta think like a criminal if you are gonna have any idea where they're gonna search. And there is a few other obvious ones, you can do some some gardening at night. You could get a... Just bury it out back or something. Bury it somewhere near your house. But the thing about that is what if the property gets bought up? What if it gets developed? What if you don't 
notice that it's being bought and developed, they find it while you're stashed while they're developing it. Who knows what could, what could happen, right? But if you do bury it in your backyard, somewhere, whatever, at least go 10 feet deep. You don't want people finding it metal detecting, anything like that. And I also recommend if you don't bury it at your house, try to keep it near your house. So you can keep an eye over it, it's not too hard if you still have access to it. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, it's not a big deal to go get it. Try to keep it within maybe 50 miles of your house, something like that. And this will be funny coming from someone on social, basically from a YouTube channel. Not to put everything you have on social media. And there is the YouTube community here, I'm not too worried about that. I stay anonymous as you guys can all tell. I give out my voice, no face, no ho home details. I don't know if he's watching. Everyone sounds different on camera, I'm not worried about that myself. And I, I have the, I'm, I'm anonymous here. So, that's a big part of it. I'm not giving out my house address, I got a P.O. box, nobody's following me from the P.O. box home ever, nobody even sees which P.O. box I'm opening when I'm there. So, keep an eye out though, if you do have a YouTube channel, if you do have a P.O. box, certain things like that, I have heard stories, just keep an eye out. And sometimes it's best to pretend you lost your key or whatever, then actually open it up that one day. Something to think about. But, yeah, just be careful if you are in the YouTube community, if you are on social media. Just make sure you're anonymous. That is a big thing to me. And a few other things about the safe here. I don't want to go into a whole lot on vaulting. I do have a vault box external from my house myself. I don't like to keep everything in one spot. That's me. I don't feel comfortable with that. I don't want to lose everything all at once ever or put myself in that position doesn't cost a whole lot of money. I can hold it. It I can I do own it. It's insured too. So something to think about. If anything happens, I get you could have sixty thousand dollars right then and there if anything happens to that vault box. Not a bad deal to me. But I just don't see anything happening to it. And no, I'm not keeping it with a bullion bank. I'm not keeping it with a, with a bullion dealer. Nothing like that. It's my box. I can open it whenever I want. I can go there whenever I want. I've got full access to it. It's fully mine. Nobody else can touch it. If I drop off a piece there, it's the same exact piece when I go to pick it up. A big thing that you must think about when you, if you do choose to vault. Many places you could go and look at before you actually find one that's worth it, in my personal opinion. And for vaulting, you can go with bank boxes, things like that. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the bank boxes. Because it's also, I don't know about you guys, but branches near me are shutting down. My home branch shut down at my bank. Good thing I don't have my boolean in it. Something to think about. That's kind of what I'm, I'm hedging it from the financial system. Why would I put my boolean in it to store it in that financial system? Just my personal opinion though. That is also why I'm, people say you can't, you don't hold it, you don't own it. My attitude is more so you can't hold it, you don't own it. 
when I completely get if someone keeps their medals outside the country, at a certain point, I like to have access to some medals at all times. I am not, don't have a big enough stack to be keeping mine outside the country at all. But I get it. If you're trying to hedge yourself from your own government's instability, from your own government's monetary system, if you have a dual citizenship, you can go to another country just like that, it doesn't matter. So I wouldn't have no hesitation holding my medals there under those kind of kinds of circumstances. But yeah, back to the safe here. In my personal opinion, when choosing a safe to keep at your house, I would try to make it big and bulky. Something where it's not just the weight you need to actually physically be able to wrap your arms around it, it makes it awkward to lift. You're not going to be able to have people lifting at their maximum potential. You might need to take your door off, things like that, to move it. I try to make it so at least three men are going to be able to move my safe while it's empty. And then it's going to add, you buy, you buying silver, put that in your safe, it really does add up that weight. It really does. I, at a certain point, after a few years of doing this, it'll start to take a fourth man, then a fifth man, then a sixth man. And then it's at, at that point though, you can't have that many people around your safe to move it. And yeah, so I just want to go over once again, I know I've already covered it. But try not to keep your safe on the main floor. Try to keep it either upstairs or downstairs. Somewhere hidden in the house where nobody's gonna come across the safe. You don't want to have people over and everyone's wondering what's inside your safe. You don't want to keep it right beside the TV or something like that, right beside the fridge. You want to keep it tucked off in a room somewhere, preferably not on the main floor, so that people would need to either go upstairs or downstairs, which makes it far more immobile. And if it's easy to get the safe in your house as a two-man job while it's empty, I don't think it's going to do the job myself, and bolting it down is huge. And there is a variety of other ways to store your precious metals. If you have a screwdriver, a socket set, things like that, the potential is unlimited. I just don't keep, recommend keeping it inside electronic speakers, things like that. Criminals do like it, but I don't think... People are going to be popping, like taking down light fixtures and all that kind of stuff. I don't think they're going to go... There's so many areas that you can take a look in your garage. See, with a one multi-bit screwdriver, there's a million possibilities. It's crazy. You can leave it in the attic, the crawl space, I find... I wouldn't go into an attic or a crawl space if I was a criminal. I don't want to, I don't want to go anywhere that I might find myself trapped. Something to think about when, where you want to put your safe. You don't want to get yourself trapped in someone else's house as a criminal. So you don't want to put yourself in that position. You really got to get the mindset of what would a criminal be thinking here, in my personal opinion. And I guess that sums up kind of my thoughts on just the basics on how to store your metals, where to store it, what you might want to think about when purchasing items such as gold, silver, bars, coins, things like that. Because it doesn't seem like, like coins are going to take up a whole lot more space than bars. It, they really do. Trust me, these bars take up way less space. If I had 50, this is 50 ounces in bars here, 5 ounce bars, there's 10 of them. If 
if I had 50 ounces in these coins, it would be such a big difference. Even if they're not capsules or anything in how much physical space it takes up. And it's a whole lot easier to hide small things like gold than silver. That's just my thoughts though. I'd love to know all your guys' thoughts down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the 500 subscriber giveaway. I will have the video shortly after I hit 500 subscribers. And then you can enter for that. Stay positive. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.